Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Meet Your Nursing Academy. Hope everyone is preparing for upcoming AIMS, NORSET and JIGMAR exams. And we the Meet Your team are always there to guide and support you. Today we are going to discuss about expected pediatric question mock test series 5. Already we have completed 4 test series. Please watch the videos and get utilized from it. And today let's begin the session with expected pediatric questions and if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon congenital diaphragmatic hernia through foramen of bogdelak is situated in posterior laterally anteriorly diaphragmatic hiatus anterior laterally and here the correct answer is option a posterior laterally Diaphragmatic hernia, the defect may be in the posterior lateral, otherwise called as Bogdelak portion of the diaphragm. That's why we selected option A. The next one is, smoky brown color urine suggests the presence of dash in the urine. Bile pigment, high level of protein, blood pigment, small amount of blood. And here the correct answer is, option C, blood pigment. The IgA anti-TTG that is tissue transglutaminase is sensitive marker for diagnosis of celiac disease, Crohn's disease, omphacil, cystic fibrosis. And the right answer is option A celiac disease. The next one is X-ray can detect congenital anorectal malformations at immediately after birth 24 to 48 hours, 48 to 72 hours after 72 hours yeah, the right answer is option b 24 to 48 hours a child with congenital megacolon is admitted for surgical correction the enema should be which enema we should give options are oil enema soap and water enema phosphate enema isotonic saline enema and here the correct answer is option b isotonic saline enema Baby girl is born premature to a mother with polyhydromnias. The baby is diagnosed with esophageal atresia with transesophageal fistula. What assessment finding would the nurse would be likely to note? Options are jaundice and eye bilirubin, CD yellow stool, projectile vomiting, frothy saliva and drooling. And here the correct answer is option D, frothy saliva and drooling. The rational is Transesophageal fistula is associated with polyhydromnias. Why? It is due to inability to swallow the amniotic fluid and it is commonly associated with CVS abnormalities. Vactral syndrome. What is vactral syndrome? B for vertebral, A for anal, C for cardiac, T for tracheal, E for esophageal, R for renal, L for limbs. So, polyhydromnias is associated with vactral syndrome, CVS abnormalities. Which of the following is the drug of choice for chemoprophylaxis against dramatic fever? Erythromycin, benzathione penicillin, penicillin, procaine penicillin. And here the correct answer is option B, benzathione penicillin. Belloc tousing shunt is the surgical management of which of the following congenital heart disease? ASD, VSD, tetralogy of phthalate transposition of great arteries so these are all the four options given here and here the correct term is option c tetralogy of phthalate so why i selected this option the ration is palliative shunt surgeries for tetralogy of phthalate are three the first one is balak trousing shunt second pot shunt third water stun shunt in balak trousing shunt Subclavian artery to pulmonary artery anastomosis will be there. In pot shunt, descending iota to pulmonary artery anastomosis will be there. Underline the word descending iota. Okay. And water stunt shunt, ascending iota to the right of the pulmonary artery. So these are all the different types of palliative shunt which is used for tetralogy of phthalate. The drug that is used to treat a cyanotic spell in a child is morphine, pethidine, Diacepam, haloperidol. And the other right answer is option A, morphine. 
Sedation like morphine or ketamine are useful during a cyanotic spell by suppressing the respiratory center and reducing hyperapnea and making calming effect on the heart and brain. A child with tetralogy of phalad, which position will be used? Supine position, squatting position, prone position, leaning forward position. Here yeah, the right answer is option B squatting position. Why? It decreases the venous return to the heart and thereby increases the systemic vascular resistance which leads to decreased in the cardiac output. Which is the earliest gastrointestinal manifestation of cystic fibrosis in a newborn? Pancreatic fibrosis, deficiency of fat soluble vitamins, intestinal obstruction, meconium ileus. The right answer is option D, meconium ileus. The rationale behind this is The clinical feature include meconium ileus is commonly seen in neonates meconium ileus in neonates and recurrent bronchiolitis in infant in early childhood recurrent lower respiratory tract infection chronic lung disease it is not a language disease chronic lung disease bronchiectasis steatorrhea pancreatitis azospermia these are all the common manifestation for early childhood and Pancreatic insufficiency is present in more than 85% of patients. A 10 year old child with asthma is treated for acute exacerbation in the emergency room. A nurse report which of the following knowing that it is not an indication that underline the word it is not an indication that the condition is improving. Options are increased wheezing, decreased wheezing, warm and dry skin, a pulse rate of 90 beats per minute. And here the right answer is option B, decreased wheezing. Rationalist, decreased wheezing may mistakenly identify as a positive sign. Underline the word mistakenly identify as a positive sign for asthma, while it may actually signal the inability to move the air in the chest. The movement of the air is restricted, so it is called as silence chest. A silence chest that is decreased breath sound is an ominous that is dangerous sign during an asthmatic attack. That's why we selected the option B. Which position is adapted by a child with epiglottitis indicating acute respiratory distress? Tripoid position, nasal flaring, use of accessory muscles for breathing, presence of strider. Here the right answer is option A, tripoid position. Epiglottitis is the bacterial form of group in which the inflammation of the epiglottis occurs which causes airway obstruction. So, the tripod position which may widen the airway which makes the breathing easy. Congenital obstruction of the posterior nares at the entrance to the nasopharynx is called tracheoesophageal fistula, esophageal atresia, coanal atresia, diaphragmatic hernia. And here the right answer is option C, coanal atresia. It is a congenital narrowing or blockage of the passage between the nose and parines by a bone in 90% of cases or membranous structure in 10% of cases. Identify the age independent indicator of malnutrition among the following. Underline the word age independent. They are not considering the age here. Okay. Apart from age, what are all the way to identify the malnutrition? That is the question. So the options are midom circumference, bangle test, shaker tape test and all of the above. And here the right answer is option D all of the above. So here there is an explanation for bangle test and shaker test. It is a bangle test means a quick assessment of the arm circumference. A fiber glass ring of internal diameter of 4 cm is slipped up the arm. If it passes above the elbow, it suggests the upper arm is less than 12.5 cm and child is malnourished. And shaky test is a fiber glass tape with shading so that the paramedical worker can assess nutritional status without having to remember the normal limits of the midom circumference and they have given three color codes red yellow green red means less than 12.5 yellow 12.5 to 13.5 green greater than 13.5 centimeter and obviously less than 12.5 centimeter means patient is malnourished webbing of neck 
increased carrying angle of elbow, low posterior hairline and short fourth metacarpal or characteristic of Klinefelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, Credo Chat syndrome, Noonan syndrome. And here the right answer is option B Turner syndrome. Which hereditary disease is most likely linked to aneurysm? Cystic fibrosis, lupus erythema, myocardial infarction, Marfan syndrome. And here the right answer is option D Marfan syndrome. It is an inherited autosomal dominant disorder of connective tissues. Example, eyes, blood vessels, bone, muscles and ligament. It is caused by mutation in fibrillin. 1 that is FBN1 gene of chromosome 15. What is proband in pedigree? Male child of disease, deceased individual, female child of disease, pregnant lady. Here the right answer is option B deceased individual. You should know the meaning of proband. Proband is a first affected individual who are treated for a genetic disorder. First degree relatives who share 50% of genetic materials with the proband. That's why we are supposed to avoid the marriage between close relations in order to prevent proband. The science of betterment of human race by application of law of inheritance is called eugenics, genetics, euphenics, euthenics. And here the right answer is option A eugenics. Eugenics is a science which aims to improve the genetic endowment of the human population by selecting breeding by application of the law of inheritance. Euthanics is the study that deals with the development of human well-being by improvement of the living condition. So eugenics means genetic endowment of human population. That's why we selected this option. Who is known as father of pediatric? Abraham Jacob. Hippocrates, Kashyapa, Shushruta. And here the right answer is option A. Abraham Jacob. Dr. George Silio is considered as father of pediatric in India. The world's first pediatrician. He is an Indian and he was Kashyapa and Jivaka. The primary role of the pediatric nurse is to provide nursing care as collaborator, care provider, consultant, Advocate, Educator, Manager, Independent and Autonomous Practitioner, Clinical Specialist and Case Manager. And here the right answer is Option B, An Advocate, Educator and Manager. The modern concept of pediatric means short term care of the child, basic care of the child, continuous and preventive care of the old child, terminal ill care of the child. And here the right answer is Option C. Continuous and preventive care of old child. So guys, hereby I am ending the mock test series 5. If you want to watch the mock test series 1 to 4, please go to the channel and you can watch it out. And if you want to contact us, please contact in the phone number, website and address given here. If you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Keep on doing revision guys. Revision makes you to succeed in the exams. Thank you very much for watching this video and watch the upcoming videos also for update yourself. But thank you once again.